Hi friends, it's Miss Lissa. I hope you guys had a good weekend, but I'm glad to be back doing story time again. All right, let's just get our hands out, clap out a beat in our laps. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Great job. All right, today I have The Naked Mole Rat Gets Dressed by Mo Willems. There is much to learn about the fascinating little creatures known as naked mole rats. But for this story, you only need to know three things. One, they are a little bit rat. Two, they are a little bit mole. And three, they are all naked. Well, they were, with one exception. Wilbur. The naked mole rat who liked to get dressed. When the other naked mole rat saw him, they said, Ew, yuck. And what are you doing? I like clothes, said Wilbur. When I get dressed, I can be fancy or funny or cool or an astronaut. Oh, I'm trying to make sure that the sun isn't too much on the pages. When the others heard that, they said, Ew! Yuck! If you like clothes so much, why don't you open a store? Naked mole rats can be very sarcastic. But Wilbur thought that was a great idea. The other naked mole rats did not. They brought Wilbur to a giant portrait of Grandpa, the oldest, greatest, and most naked mole rat of all time. Look at that picture, they demanded. Look at his heroic face. Look at his regal bearing. Look at his total lack of clothing. Grandpa did look heroic. Grandpa did look regal, but he would also look heroic and regal in a casual shirt and some summer slacks. Ugh, said the other naked mole rats. Don't you get it? Naked mole rats don't wear clothes. Why not? asked Wilbur. Something had to be done. Oh, they look angry, do you see? The naked mole rats marched right over to Grandpa and told him all about Wilbur. And then he asked why not? Oh, we'll try this way. Grandpa was very wise. He thought seriously about everything he had heard, and then he thought some more. Finally said, in his he heroic, regal voice, Gather the colony. I shall make a proclamation. When Wilbur heard about Grandpa's proclamation, he knew it was serious. but he had no idea what to wear. In the end, he decided to play it safe. Just wearing socks. But maybe not safe enough. Oh, everybody's still staring at him. 
The others were so busy looking at Wilbur's socks, no one noticed Grandpa enter until he cleared his throat and proclaimed, Fellow naked morats, I had never worn clothes until I heard Wilbur's simple, uh, simple question. Why not? Why not indeed? Do clothes hurt anyone? No. Are they fun? Well, they may not be for everyone, but this old naked morat wishes he had tried getting dressed earlier. And then Grandpa complimented Wilbur on his socks. As fast as his legs could take him, Wilbur rushed home, put on his favorite outfit, and dashed back. Let's put on a fancy suit. And when he returned, Wilbur discovered he was not alone. Much has been said about that day, but for this story, you only need to know three things. One, some of the mole rats were naked. Two, some of the mole rats were clothed. Were clothed. And three, all of the mole rats had a great time. The end. I like that one. I think it's silly. All right. Are you guys ready? Show me your fingers. We'll do open shut them. Are you ready? Open shut them. Open shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open shut them. Open shut them. Put them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them. Right up to your chin. Open up your little mouth, but don't let them in. Alright, I hope you guys had fun with story time, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye!